Turkish Airlines EuroLeague in association with Possession, gotta act fast. Another shot, another pass. Olympiakos Mareos, three times Euro League champion, and the last years to go back to back. Had to do the FS Istanbul. The defending champions and a club in the process of building a legacy. We have two teams and one goal. History is on the line here tonight at the Final Four. Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to Belgrade. Welcome to one of the heartlands of European basketball. Tonight, the Serbian capital is the host city for the Final Four in a 22nd edition of the Turkish Airlines EuroLeague, the continent of Europe's premier basketball competition. Just as it did in 2018, the Stark Arena serves as the venue for the last four teams looking to claim the European crown. In tonight's first semifinal, the reigning champions, Anadolu FS, try to take one more step on their quest to claim back-to-back -back titles for the first time in close to 10 years. We talk now to their coach, EuroLeague Coach of the Year from 2020-21, Ergen Ataman. Our game will be the same. So to join on the court, to enjoy, to play a running game, transition game. And uh, of course, for us, will be the key will be the, our defense. Well, the last team to win back-to-back -back titles in this illustrious competition is none other than three-time title holders Olympiakos of Piraeus. The Reds claimed their most recent titles in 2012 and 2013 when they were led by this year's Coach of the Year, Georgios Bartsokis, who makes his third trip to the Turkish Airlines EuroLeague Final Four. We talk now to Coach Bartsokis. Of course, the big players are going to make a step up in the, these crucial moments, these crucial games. But I really believe the team effort, the way that we're going to play together, is more important than some, some matchups. Well, we've gathered the thoughts of tonight's two coaches. We bring you inside the arena, the final four of the Turkish Airlines Euro League. Tonight's first semifinal features Olympiakos of Piraeus against the title holders, Anadolu Efes of Istanbul. Well, live images from the Stark Arena now, and we're going to take you through how the teams advanced to this phase of the competition. Olympiakos make their 11th appearance in the final four. They got here with a semifinal victory, I beg your pardon, a playoff victory in five games over Monaco. Anadolu FS make their fifth appearance in the final four, and they are here having bested Olympia Milano in their playoff series. Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to Belgrade. Live images now from the Stark Arena. My name is Liam Canney. As ever, it is my privilege to be with you tonight, and I introduce my partner, 1999 EuroLeague champion, George Zedek. Liam, it's great to be back live in person in Stark Arena as we look into team comparisons. And as we discussed before, these two teams look so similar. If you look at all the statistics across the board, they are very similar, only with the difference of the free throws, which go slightly in favor of Anadolu FS Istanbul. Otherwise, it's a very close race across the board. Yeah, they're almost mirror images of each other on offense, George, aren't they? It's remarkable how similar they are. We can see the players now going through their warm-ups. Olympiakos, three-time title holders. And George, they've got that spine of players, three players who've been with them since they claimed those back-to-back -back titles in 2012 and 2013. Papa Nicolaou, Prindices, and Kostas Lucas. There's certainly continuity on both sides. A lot of experience, you don't even have to mention that. Let's look at the key players starting with the top score of the competition this year is none other than Vasilya Mitic averaging over 18 points in the competition. He picked it up slightly in the playoffs. He's in the top form. 
Yeah, meets it's one of Serbia's favorite sons. And here's a player you like, George, one of the big men, Tibor Fleiss. The German international can step away from the basket, can really space and stretch the floor. And he's having a fantastic season for FS. He has, he's the tallest body they have. It's gonna be a great matchup against Mustafa Fall, two meters 21 twice against Mustafa Fall at two meters 18. Let's look at the side of Olympiakos, the team that likes to stress the togetherness, the team concept of play. That's what Coach Barzorka speaks about all the time. We'll take a look at some of the key players who will feature for the Reds. George, another player who's having a career year, Sasha Vizhenkov, all year league first team can stretch the floor with his ability to shoot it and can also play in a low post. Absolutely, it's a breakthrough year for Sasha Vazenkov. I think he just personifies the mentality, the working mentality of Olympiakos. Here is Thomas Walkup after the transfer and three se successful seasons in Zagreb Kaunas. He is really the man that you don't see necessarily on the stat sheet, but he does so many things well for the team that he's just invaluable. Yeah, he's one of the underdogs, especially with his defensive ability. And George, here are some of the marquee players. On the left, it is Kostas Lukas, who is in the EuroLeague Final Four for the eighth time. And Shane Larkin on the right. Two of the players in the backcourt for tonight's two teams. If you talk about the best two point guards in the competition, that, that's what you have in mind. Kostas Lukas going against Shane Larkin. I cannot wait, Liam. It should be a great show on the perimeter. These players can create shots and will. They will be going head to head one on one, and I cannot wait. Right now, this is my time now. It's all on the line now. Destiny is mine now. Watch how we rise now. I'm so alive. Champions never die. They multiply. Keep it 20 times five. Champions never die. Through it, we survive and finally arrive. As the clock ticks, watch our really get stand strong. This is it. Are you built for this? Yeah. As the clock ticks, watch our really get stand strong. This is it. Are you built for this? Yeah. This is it. This is it. This is it. Well, what a marvelous spectacle here Welcome in Belgrade in the 22nd Belgrade. edition of the Turkish Airlines Euro League. We turn over now to the PA announcer for the arrival of tonight's two teams. Get ready to welcome all of the players. Ladies and gentlemen, Anadolu FS Istanbul. Number zero, Shane Larkin. Number one, Rodrig Boba. Number two, Chris Singleton. Number six, Elijah Bryant. Number 11, Ertan Ghazi. Number 18, Adrian Moorman. 
number 19, Buran Sujer. 21, Tibor Place. 22, Vasa Mitic. 23, James Anderson. 33, Filip Petrushev. And captain 42, Ryan Dunstan. Ladies and gentlemen, the head coach, Ergin Ataman. And now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome the players of Olympiakos Piraeus. Number zero, Dallas Wagner. Number one, Quincy AC. Number two, Tyler Dorsey. Number five, Yanulis Larentakis. Number ten, Mustafa Fall. Number eleven, Kostas Lukas. Hassan Martin, 14, Sasha Vezenko, Captain, number 15, Georgios Pritezis, 16, Kostas Papanikolaou, 17, Livio Zanchal, and 77, Shaquille McKissick. Ladies and gentlemen, the head coach, Gelgios Martzoka. Well, the players are on the floor. The head-to-head -head here, George, between the two coaches. The 13th time that they will battle wits. And we are delighted to announce, of course, that we've got the last two years coach of the year and Coach Martzoka's and Ataman. Incredible what kind of talent we have on the floor and what kind of experience and leadership we have at the benches, Liam. Exactly a great point of last year's best coach of the year. Take it on this year's best coach of the season, Georgios Barzok. As we're looking at the roster of Anadolu FS Istanbul, there you have it. Unbelievable continuity. If you look at last four seasons, they've been together almost identically, only two small additions. Elijah Bryant and Philip Petrush have added to the roster. So really a lot of togetherness and continuity with FS. Yeah, you were saying that we were talking beforehand about how stable a side it is. And George, for me, for Libyakos, it's the spine of the team with those three Greek players that we identified already in Slukas, Papa Nicolaou, and Prindices. You know, Papa Nicolaou really wears his a heart on his sleeve. He's the sort of emotional leader. And one thing that you picked up about the Olympiakos players as we bring you the starting five, it's been a settled starting five for Coach Bartsokas. That's incredible. The whole season, Coach Bartsokas has been starting the same starting five. So let's look at the and starters now. now. And well, I FS. It's Let going to be Shane Larkin at the guard, Vasily Amitsic at the off guard, Adrian Mammon at the power forward. Anderson at the small forward and Thibor Plies at the center position. Yeah, going across the midcourt stripe. It is the starters here now for Olympiakos. Walk up in Dorsey in the backcourt. Vizhenkov, Papa Nicolaou, and Mustafa Fall. And as you said, George, it's a very settled lineup. No surprise that we don't see Slukas in the starting lineup because he hadn't started much throughout the course of the season. Absolutely not. I think that he feels a lot more comfortable this season coming off the bench and you know, Coach Bartzokas spoke about it in volume just coming before here to Belgrade, and he said, we believe in team concept. One thing that I mentioned to you, he says, I like passer better than the <laughs> score. I mean, it just stood out that uh, you see Coach Georgios Bartzokas, the Alexander Gomelski, Coach of the Year winner. He is ready to go at the Olympiakos bench with the support of numerous fans here from Athens. We'll take a look at the three wise men who will oversee proceedings tonight, and We'll pause now and pay our respects to the Turkish Airlines EuroLeague theme song.
Well, George, we mentioned the starting fives. We would be remiss if we were not to talk about the sixth man in this one. And it looks like it's a partisan crowd here as the people of Piraeus have traveled to support Olympiacos. There you see the sea of red in behind. It's, it's difficult to estimate how many fans have traveled, but it, it has to be the thousands, close maybe to 10,000. There's Eric and Ataman looking focused right before the tip off as we are getting ready to start the game in just a few moments. There you have the both coaches there in the split screen at the final four in Belgrade 2022. While the referee steps into the center circle, we are moments away from kicking off the final four in the 22nd edition of the continent of Europe's premier basketball competition, the final four in the Turkish Airlines EuroLeague. First possession to Olympiacos as Anadolu FS settle into man-to-man -man defense. And they go inside to Mustafa Fall. The battle of the Giants on the inside of Mustafa Fall. Very effective with the drop step to the baseline over Tibor Plyce. Well, Larkin gets the first possession underway here for FS. Olympiacos to start out in man-to-man -man defense. Ball back into the hands of Alfonso Ford winner Mitic who kicks it on to Larkin. Let's fly with a three and both teams start with an opening score. A lot of focus there on the first possession. I don't see any nerves or jitters there. Good execution on both sides for Olympiacos and Efes. Here's Vajen Cup. He'll get his first taste. It rims out and you can hear the groans in the arena as Tibor Place grabs a defensive rebound for FS. Vezenkov got a good look. He thought about a three-pointer a little bit, so when the defender backed off, he fired at the end. There's another good, another good matchup here, George. Just walk up, draws the assignment to try and guard Mitsich. Papa Nikolaou on Larkin. Good quick ball movement by FS. Mitsich's shot is short. We should say that meets it's the Serbian international plays in Belgrade tonight. One of Serbia's favorite sons. A good offensive rebound by James Anderson. <laughs> Quick pass ahead and Larkin who scored the last basket shows he can play a little bit of defense as well. Larkin just two points away from a career milestone. 2,500 points in his Turkish Airlines yearly career. William, we watched him yesterday at practice, and he is lightning fast. I mean, he's deceptively small, but he gets out there, and he, if he gets out there in the open court, he likes to overplay the lanes. This is a long shot from Dorsey, which is just short. Meets it with the rebound. Well, what a season Tyler Dorsey is having. He's improving in his scoring average, and each season he's been with the club. It's a turnover there, and the fast break. Thomas Walkup on the run. Yeah, great finish by Walkup as he goes to the far side of the rim to ward off the defenders. Good transition basket here for Olympiacos. Just show no emotion. He's all locked in, Liam. You see Thomas Walkup. Yeah, he did a ter terrific job did Walkup guarding Mike James in that playoff series against Monaco. And I think, George, many people were surprised that that series went five games as Tibor Plyce. Little jump hook. That's a shot from your playbook. No, that, that's really effective that Tibor Plyce just settled his feet. And just perfect follow through to the basket. Yeah, it was surprising for some people for Olympiacos to take Monaco. Monaco taking Olympiacos to five. Dorsey gets to the free throw line. He lets fly. That's off the mark. And Anderson claims the rebound for Anadolu FS. I like what James Anderson said. He said, I'm not necessarily a scorer, as Shane Larkin just fires a quick three pointer. He didn't have the best look. And he was bothered from the side by one of the Olympiacos defenders. Yeah, maybe a little bit impatient from Larkin. Walk up now between the circles, rides the high ball screen of Mustafa Fall. Nice pass to a darting Vizenkov who shot rims out. And we've got a foul here on Shane Larkin. That's the first one on Larkin. And just to finish the thought on James Anderson, I mean, he, he's a player that's a capable score, but he's getting up there in age, and he said as we are looking at the replay and the finish on the fast break there by Thomas Walkup. He said, I'll do anything to help my team. So right now he's focusing on rebounds, defense, and other stuff. Anderson in his seventh EuroLeague season. Another touch inside to fall. Quick pass by Papa Nicolau to walk up, who's open like church on Sunday, and he knocks down the corner three-pointer. That's a beautiful ball movement inside. The defense collapsing on fall. He's patient, finds the open shooter. Good inside-out play for Olympiakos. Mitsic. let's fly with a three. That's off the mark. 
And got good tempo here early on in this game as we approach four minutes gone in the opening stanza. Vizhenkov probes to the left hand. Nice pass inside. And great oh, patience into the post oh. from Gustavo Vo. And you see that? This is the unselfish basketball that everybody's been talking about with connection in Olympiakos. Let's look at the replay. That's the drive by Vazenkov. He puts it to fall. The fake. He takes the contact. Goes up for the rim. George, the I just I love the patience here in the low post. You know, fall. The up fake gets his balance. And he stops it. And this is me at 5'10 talking to you at seven feet about inside play. No, but I'm telling you, George Bartzokas has basically said this is a culmination of my two and a half years work at the club. I have really sold the players on unselfish concept of basketball. It is absolutely shown here in the opening moments of the game. As Vizhenkov is sharing the sugar, Fall stops at home. We've got a violation here on the and one. Fall will get a chance to tack on the three-point play. It's off the mark. Place with the rebound for FS. Yeah, only 60% free throw shooter Mustafa Fall for the season. So this is something that you might consider. And almost a steal here by Papa Nicolaou. You like to talk about it. You said he brings his heart out. Every second he is on the floor. You see it right there. The active hands and feet. That is Costas Pepa Nicolaou at his best. He's going to pester Vasily Hamitic all game yeah, long. That, that's the perfect word for him, George. He's a, he's a pest. Defensively, I mean that in the best sense of the word. But if he's guarding you as he's guarding Mitsits tonight, he'll create problems. He closes out on Plyce, who shots off the mark. Right now, FS struggling offensively here in the opening quarter. That was a tough shot selection again. After Mitsic rushing, Larkin rushing into the shots, it was Plyce. Paul gets another touch inside, spins on Plyce, goes to the basket. And Tibor Plyce, George, has got his hands full guarding in the low post. He absolutely does. And I'm saying, feed the big fella on the inside, Liam. He wants the ball. Look at that. Mustafa Fall with the spin move. He's bringing some finesse tricks to Tibor Plyce. Aggressively attacking the basket. Well, let's just talk about this matchup a bit, George, because as we take a look at the Olympiakos fans, it, it, it's quite a contrast. Plyce has now come out. In comes Bryant Dunstan, the all-time uh, shot blocker in EuroLeague history, but you know, Place wants to step away from the basket and Fall wants to play back to the basket. But Liam, how often, how often do you see a player 2 meters 18 taking on a player 2 meters 21? I mean, this is rare in today's basketball. If you talk about today's basketball, everything is much quicker, faster, versatile, and this is the, this is the throwback. Yeah. So often you see, George, in today's modern basketball, it's a three or, or in the key. And you don't see a lot of players playing back to the basket like we've seen fall in a couple of possessions here. Well, Anderson hands off to Larkin. FS, can they get something going? Foul here on Thomas Walkup as he tries to get over the top of the screen from Brian Dunstan. That's an aggressive mistake here by Thomas Walkup. I think that Coach Bartzuka is going to live with that. Thomas Walkup just really pushing up. Defensively there being active. The lead still 10-5 for Olympiakos after with 523 to go in the first quarter. Here's Mitic with the left hand. A little bounce pass to Dunstan. He sprays it out to Larkin. Good ball movement. Larkin shot rims out. Hasn't find the shooter's touch yet. But it's a nice pass to the extra pass to the open shooter. Shane Larkin wide open. He had all the time in the world, just missed the shot. Dunstan really pushing Fall away from the basket. Now Dorsey turns the corner, finds Fall. And Fall oh, drops a oh, dime inside oh, for Papa Nicolau. Sharing the sugar by the big fella. Did you see that? Liam, you have to love that if you coach Bart Sokas. Unselfish play here for Olympiacos. FS really on the ropes early. They're down seven. Can they get a basket here as the media timeout beckons? We've got a foul off the ball. Well, that horn will signal our first break in the action. It has been an electric start in the Stark Arena in the 22nd edition of the Turkish Airlines EuroLeague. The first of two semifinals tonight. Olympiakos up seven here at the end of the media timeout. This timeout is sponsored by Finisba. Ladies and gentlemen. All EuroLeague basketball club. One social goal using the power of basketball to integrate communities. Bringing people together. Making positive social change. Teaching life skills through basketball. 
more than 23,000 participants. Connecting, inspiring, unifying, motivating, and respecting. Let's celebrate together the One Team 10th anniversary. Well, one team, Turkish Airlines, EuroLeague Corporate's Social Responsibility Program. One team program supported by Turkish Airlines as a founding patron, uses the power of basketball for the integration of our communities. We're talking about communities. We are all one team. This year, one team celebrates its 10th anniversary as clubs and players from both the Turkish Airlines EuroLeague and Seven Days Euro Cup have been supporting this organization for 10 years, and they'll wear one-team badges on their uniforms, as you might see tonight. Well, FS come out of the timeout with the possession. They're in desperate need of a score. Mitic with a little leaner off the glass, and the lid, George, stays on the basket for FS. And that was a crucial possession, in my opinion, Liam. You're coming out of the timeout, and the set play didn't work out there for Vasily and Mitic and FS. Dorsey. Gets Larkin off his feet, lines up a three, it won't go. And beats it with the defensive rebound. That was a lucky break there for FS because Dorsey had all a good look at the basket and with the way that he's been shooting the basketball lately in regular season and playoffs, I mean, that was a good chance the thing was going in. And Larkin and a scoring drought here for FS. Gonna try and get inside. Nice pass to Dunstan. And I love this, George. You know, when you're struggling from the perimeter, get some penetration, break down the defense, and get a trip to the line. Exactly. You see it on the slow replay, unselfish play by Shane Larkin, finding his big target, Brian Dunstan. Brian Dunstan a little bit undersized against Mustafa Fall, standing at two meters and three as he substituted the big fella, Thibor Plyce, but plenty of experience. Here you have him, Brian Dunstan, at the free throw line. One of the most experienced players, two times player, defensive player of the year. Played two seasons with Olympiacos. So, so much history with Brian Dunstan here. He is the all time leader in blocks in Turkish Airlines EuroLeague history in his ninth EuroLeague season. Also has 2,000 points to his name. So, you can't leave him alone as he converts one of two free throws. And if you talk about counting it, it's a seventh season for Brian Dunstan in the FS jersey. So he's one of the most experienced players for Coach Adamant. Papa Nicolau on the wing. Walkham's trying to set a little for big screen inside. It is a, a wrestling match in there. Fall establishes position in the low post. The crab dribble and the score. That's a tough matchup right there. Mustafa Fall playing with so much confidence on a single coverage as you see Brian Dunstan trying to hold his own. Mustafa Fall being very patient, very patient. Just old school. Back to the basket. Basketball. Mitsic. His pass broken up. Another deflection by Papa Nicolaou. So Mitsic gets to the dots, kicks it. And George, you know, although it's not turnovers, it's the deflections which cause problems for the offense. It's the activity. I mean, Olympiakos is clearly the aggressor in the first six minutes, oh, seven minutes, I'm sorry, of the game. We got 3.6 seconds to shoot, so it's going to have to be a quick setup. And we got a first time Costas Lucas in the lineup, so that's an important moment. Him coming into the game. FS with 3.6 seconds on the shot clock. Here's Larkin, flashes back to the ball. Swallowed up. Dunstan has to let fly, and Dunstan knocks down the three. And we should say, George, that we saw Dunstan practicing those three-point shots in tonight's warm-up. That's amazing because that's, that's the word from the FS camp, just watching the practice. Brian Dunstan has been spending a lot more time on the outside shots. Here's just his fifth three of the season. Well, it's timely. Oh, Papa Nicolau, the ball's like a bar of soap, powers it up, and Dunstan with a block. Well, terrific defense this time by FS, well, but Papa Nicolau just couldn't get the handle on the rock. I thought he was surprised that everything opened up in front of him. He was all alone going to the basket, just could not handle the ball. But if you talk about the intensity, I mean, FS on that last defensive possession just absolutely matched the one of, of Olympiacos as we have Elijah Bryan making a substitution and making a first appearance in the game for James Anderson. FS trail by four. It's a two possession game as Larkin makes the entry pass to Mormon. Both teams have been straight man to man throughout these opening minutes. Back into the hands of Larkin. Larkin lets fly with a three. And finally, 
knocks down a three. Shane Larkin gets to the scoreboard. That's his shot. I thought that Hassan Martin just did the right thing. He came up on the shooter, but Shane Larkin, if he gets in the zone as he reached 2,500 points for his yearly career, that's a milestone to remember. A congratulations to Larkin, who started his Turkish Airlines Euroleague career with Basconia. Back in 2016, 2017, he's been with FS for several seasons, and he makes that one even over the outstretched hands of Hassan Martin. There's nothing that you can say to Hassan Martin. He just really came up, played it well defensively, but sometimes if Shane Larkin is on, there's nothing that you can do. One of the best scorers in EuroLeague. He can score in bunches, Liam. He's had two games with over 40 points, one of them against Olympiakos when he nailed 10 threes. Speaking of threes, Papa Nicolaou's attempt is off the mark. The ball into the hands of Mitic, and a chance now for FS to get their noses in front for the first time in tonight's contest. They are looking much more poised in the last three, four possessions. Ever since the timeout, actually, Liam, missing the first possession, but on target ever since. That three is up and good from Elijah Bryant, and Anadolu FS weathered an early storm, and they take their first lead in tonight's game. And it's another premier shooter with Elijah Bryan spending two seasons with Maccabi. It's a 9-0 run here for FS. Hassan Martin shot just rolls out. That's bad luck for Olympiacos. That perfect high percentage shot for Hassan Martin. Singleton picks and pops. Now he's got to go find someone to screen. He's got a mismatch with Slukas in the low post. And the pass to Bryant. Couldn't grab it. Here's Mitic. Oh, great inside out dribble by Mitic for the easy lay in. And we spoke about it yesterday, Liam. I gave you the philosophical question is he a better shooter or driver? And you see, he's absolutely versatile. He picks the right option. Well, he started as a skier. He grew up in ski country in Serbia. He was a champion slalom skier. You can see this movement there. He moved to Belgrade as a youngster. And right there, he's got the assist for Elijah Bryan, who knocks down the three. Look at the outside shooting. If you look at beyond the three-point line, it's already 10 three-pointers. Four made for Anadolu Efes, five attempts, and one made for Olympiakos. So only 20%. The outside shooters taking a break a little bit early on for Olympiakos. Well, Slukas gets to the line. And George, he's, this is his eighth Final Four. Four of them with Olympiakos and four of them with Fenerbahce. He's a three-time EuroLeague champion, back-to-back -back with Olympiakos, and that one title with Fenerbahce in 2017. What a career he's had! And you know, if we're talking about the matchups this season, the two, they split the games in this season. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, round 27, I think it was. That was the game in Olympiakos at Peter Ask, and he decided with a shot at the buzzer. Well, Singleton strolls down the lane. First attempt won't go. Second attempt rims out. And the defense collapses on Singleton, who missed the little bunny shot inside. He stayed with it. I mean, this is what you want your shooter to follow through and make sure that the ball goes into the basket, but just was surrounded by three Olympiacos players. So give credit to Olympiacos to also stay with it defensively. Rodney Bourbois on the court for the first time. He was questionable coming into this weekend with, uh, with an injury, but good to see him on the floor. That's good news there for Coach Adamant if he can play. And that's Papa Nicolau making the first three points. So second one for Olympiacos in the game. Walk up made the first. Papa Nicolau with the second. Here's Beauvoir. Glides to the basket. It won't go. And I think Bryant Dunstan's going to get called for a push in the back. Yeah, it's a push off. Co referee Boris Rizik was there with the action. And since it's a bonus for Olympiacos. It's going to be two free throws. Papa Nicolau, after making a three-pointer, is going to go to the free throw line. And immediately, Liam, you can just sense the incredible atmosphere and the support by the Olympiacos fans. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. They will play certainly a part in this. And we heard Coach Patsokas in his pregame interview thanking the fans for their support all season. But they've made the journey from Piraeus here. It's 1,100 kilometers, to be precise, from Piraeus here to to Belgrade, to the city of basketball for the weekend. But I tell you what, I like the interview before Olympiacos came uh, to the final four. Coach Barzoka said, we love the Olympiacos fans, and they support us so much. But at the same time, we feel that we owe them 
We owe them to play every single game, every practice with 100% urgency and 100% efficiency. Well, the fans have been to many cities throughout Europe as Olympiakos make their 11th appearance in the Turkish Airlines EuroLeague. There is Giorgios Prindisis, the 37-year-old. We'll see if he features tonight. Olympiakos won their first title back in 1997 when they beat Barcelona in Paris. And we'll see Barcelona later tonight, George, in El Clasico as they go against Madrid in the second semifinal. Right how about Georgios Printus is in his 19th EuroLeague season, 17 with Olympiakos, two with Malaga. You see him right there, the team captain. If you have a guy to take care of your locker room, I mean, I can't imagine anybody better than Georgios Printus. Well, the first quarter draws to a close on that heave and hope from Rodrigo Bourbois. Both teams with runs. Olympiacos jumped out to an early lead, but FS weathered the storm. And here's the score at the end of the first stanza. Olympiacos 21, Anadolu FS 18. Well, first quarter highlights here in the first semifinal in the Turkish Airlines Air League Final Four as Olympiacos vie against Anadolu FS. Thomas walk up with the steal and finish. Good assist here inside to Mustafa Fall. Bezhenkov, the unselfish play that epitomizes Olympiakos. And look at the emotion from Sasha Bezhenkov. Mustafa Fall has been dominant inside, showing he can also move the ball along. And then after that early good period from Olympiakos, FS finally found their rhythm. That three from Brian Dunstan, the catalyst to a little 9-0 run of their own. Larkin finding the bottom of the net from distance. And good to see Ruby Beauvoir back to full fitness. Well, George, we're going to get a chance to take a look at some numbers and what jumps out here at you. Yeah, I'm looking at uh, another way is getting it more down from distance. On the inside, it's Olympiacos. That's clear because Mustafa Fall is the high scorer after first quarter. I mean, I've, per perhaps it's a bit of a surprise there with Mustafa Fall scoring seven points as the high scorer for Olympiacos. Yeah, your leading scorer inside, George, which is always a good thing. Yeah, it keeps the balance because they certainly have the shooters from the outside as we see the best performer in the first quarter. Seven points and two assists for Kostas Pepanikolaou with 11 performance index rating. So this Kostas Pepanikolaou with his intensity and aggressive style of play just really making an impact here in the first 10 minutes of the game. Speaking of intensity, the intensity from the fans here who are trying to make their presence and trying to support their team. Let's speak about Rodrigue Balboa. He, the last game that he played was April 22nd, Liam, to be precise, the second game of the series in the playoffs. He's been out with back spasms, uh, perhaps some serious back spasms. No games played in the Turkish League, so it's been almost a month here for Rodrigue Balboa without play. And you ask me what I like best about another FS, I say the three guard front as we are starting the second quarter. If he plays, in some optimal kind of shape, FS is going to be val is going to be very valuable for FS. Well, Larkin starts with the basketball in his hands. FS come out of the huddle with Dunstan, Bryant, Larkin, Beaubois, and Singleton. The five on the floor for FS. The penetration from Larkin. A little reach there from Hassan Martin, and you can see what the. Olympiacos fans think about that. A lot of leather on that call. Yeah, it was a lot of ball, but you gotta give credit to Shane Larkin who took the outside shots early on, but then he just really started to penetrate and look for his teammates there after the penetration. So giving up his body, going inside as Shane Larkin scoring two free throws to get the score or to get a deficit down to one. Just one point separates the two teams. Olympiacos come out with Slukas. Vizhenkov, Martin, Papa Nicolau, and Shaquille McKissick with his first minutes. Martin on that high screen and roll. We talked about that, George, before the game, about how Martin, very different from Mustafa Fall, but gives you a bit more mobility in the high pick and roll game. And a lot of power there. He's, you know, so explosive after getting the ball. He likes to get the ball on the move in the lane. That's a little bit different from Mustafa Fall. You saw Mustafa Fall getting the ball back to the basket, establishing getting contact and going for a one-on-one -on -one move. Hassan Martin on the other side likes to get it on the run after the pick and roll situation. He's a roller. He's a rim attacker. 
Well, Martin gets his first trip to the line. And I'll tell you what, I mean, if you if you ask it for a player that gives you a lot of boost and energy off the bench, there's none better than Shaquille McKissick. Plenty of energy and athleticism from McKissick. He had big game in game five in the playoffs, 18 points in 17 minutes against Monaco. Here's Bryant. The little floater in the lane is up and good. Elijah Bryant with the deuce. And we're knotted up at 22 each. Doesn't he look so smooth? He doesn't force anything. You just see he just steps into the shots or goes for the easy penetration. Here's Lucas with the ball in his hand. Snaps a pass to Bajenkov and gets it back. Turns the corner and Lucas lets fly with a three oh. and strings it. That, that's a tough one, but how many times we've seen it from Costas Lucas? As you said, this is the eighth final four for Costas. Not overwhelmed by the moment. FS with the perfect repass. They come right back. And right now, Bryant has got the hot hand. And you love that hot hand theory. That's a hot hand. They go on to him like Mustafa Fall was the hot man for Olympiacos early on. Now it's Elijah Bryant for Anadolu FS. Lucas around two screens. Johnson pass inside to Martin. Vizhenkov. Nice pass back to Martin. And good patience inside for Martin as he draws the foul and will go right back to the free throw line. You see it again. It was the extra pass made, and Hassan Martin just pump faking. You see it right here. He knows the contact is coming. He gets three players of Anadolu off the floor. So he's just bracing for impact as you see the three pointer by Costa. Lucas, a tough one, going to his right. Obviously, he's the left hander. So a great shot by Costas Lucas to play him the one point lead. Lucas made that three to win it. These two teams, as you mentioned in passing, George, played each other twice during the season. They split way back in November in round 10. FS won comfortably at home, 88 69. But more recently in February, Lucas made the three in the corner at the buzzer. And the Biakos won 87 85 in that round 26 contest. And it was an overtime win, too. Lee. Yeah, that's right. It was an overtime. You're exactly right. You are on your game tonight, big fella. Thank you, mate. The Biakos up by three. Prindice on the floor for his first action. Now Slukas exposed in the low post. Gets some help from Martin. Singleton powers it up. It won't go. And the ball ends up in the hands of Shaquille McKissick, who probes in the open floor. We got Tibor Plyce back into the lineup for Ephes. You like to pick out those big men, part of the big man union. Do you carry your big man card with you wherever you go? You always pick on me. <laughs> you always remind me of my shortcomings, Liam. And there you have your answer to the question that you posed a moment ago. If Georgios Prentice is going to show up in the game today, if he's going to get some minutes, and sure he does. It's only 12 minutes that have gone by in the first semifinal. And it's Georgios Prentice's on the floor as he was fouled in the last sequence. Here's Lucas. Kicks to Prentices, gets it back. Patrols along the baseline. A touch inside. The left-handed finish from Hassan Martin. Beautiful pass and a quick pass by Hassan Martin. He did not take a split second to set, set his feet, just immediately reacted. Here's Beauvoir. Little bounce pass to Plyce. He sprays it out to Larkin. Larkin got it. He is in the zone, Liam. He is not thinking that. Extra second about a shot. He's stepping into it. That's what you like to see with you. One of the best shooters on the team. Scores three, for sure. Three of five from distance. Lucas finds his backcourt mate Thomas Walkup. Good composure from Walkup, but he left it short. And now Larkin wants to put some pace into the game. He's up to 11 points, Shane Larkin. He'll move it on to Plyce and Plyce. Showing some athleticism and mobility. will tip in to finish off the deuce. He's a big target. He's, if he gets it on the run, if he puts the ball high up, there's not that much you can do. He's 2 meters 21, the tallest player here in the Final Four. 29 each. This game been close the whole way. McKissick darts to the basket and lays it up and in with the scoop and score. He just put his jets on it. We've seen so many times in the open court, Shaquille McKissick. They provide some athleticism to this Olympiakos backcourt. 
Now, Bryant with a mismatch, guarded by March on the perimeter. Plice with a mismatch inside. McKissick comes over to help out. Plice trying to pass out of the double team. And Brenda sees with the flush in transition. That was a little miscue, I thought, at the... Uh... Shane Larkin touched the ball, so he didn't want to have the backcourt violation. He kind of waited for the 24 sh shot clock violation, which I thought as I heard the horn sound off. Well, here's your score here at the break. 33-29, Olympiacos up four. Well, Turkish Airlines flight time. Take a look at who spends the most time in the air, covers the most distance. Thomas Walkup, 0.74 seconds with the reverse lay-in. Poetry in motion, George. Good finish there from the Texan. That's what came to mind when he said poetry in motion. Such a smooth move there by Thomas Walkup, using the, the rim to protect his shot. A smart move, and he gets the Turkish Airlines flight time so far in the game and this is the action that we spoke about before the steal by walk up and a setup for Gilgo Sprintis is to finish the fast break well I, like you George I thought I heard a buzzer and I'm not sure if we're going to see this but Shane Larkin goes to his ears to signal to the referee that he thought he heard a shot clock violation as well that's what I thought he was expecting stoppage in time and the out of bounds play but it did not happen and there you see the emotions with both Thomas Walkup and Georgios Princess is there, certainly fired up, up four at the moment, Olympiakos, in the second quarter. Yeah, good opportunism from Walkup and Princesses. But sometimes you get lucky, especially if, the, if you're the aggressive party. Yeah, if that's you initiate exactly right. the contact, the referees sometimes give you the break. Yeah, good hustle by both Walkup and Princesses. Meets it back onto the floor. Olympiacos up by four. Now Plyce, guarded by Slukas. And Slukas gets exposed in the low post. He commits the foul. He's been isolated in the low post a couple of times, George, with mismatches, has Slukas. Oh, it's a tactical foul by Costa Slukas as he was guarding the biggest man on the floor, Tibor Plyce. He rather took one for the team. It's only a second team foul for Olympiaco, so not an issue. Sideline out of bounds here for Anadolu FS. Mitic passed up the open look at a three. The little laner inside won't go, and Bryant gets his nose in to come up with the offensive rebound, and Larkin knocks down the three, a timely three from Shane Larkin. And this is dangerous here for Olympiacos if Shane Larkin gets in his zone. As you said before, he can get up to 40 points, no problem. Here's Lucas on the wing. Gets to the short corner, back to Martin, and that little push shot a la parentheses from Hassan Martin. And this is the shot that you see Hassan Martin practicing before the game. And again, another three-point attempt by Shane Larkin. He took an early three. Just past the midway mark of the second quarter. Olympiacos up three, just one possession. Again, along the baseline goes Lucas. Deep basket cut from Walkup. And Martin just powers it up and in. Hassan Martin, too strong for Tibor Plyce. But what a fundamental move there by Hassan Martin as he waits and takes the body, leans into Tibor Plyce to use his power. Here's Mitic. Well, Mitic spills it, turns it over. Walkup comes up with it. It's a five on four here for Olympiakos. McKissick in the corner, doesn't get it from Slukas. McKissick had a clean look at a three from the corner. Well, that's good patience by Olympiakos to back it out. Walk up just spills it. So turnover from meets its return by Walkup. That was an unforced error there by Thomas Walkup, a rare mistake. Deep three from Meets it's the heel of the rim. It's a two-on-one opportunity here for Slukas. Making a three-on-one. Well, the trailer is Shaquille McKissick. He goes hard to the rack. And I'm not sure if you saw the stats that flashed there on the screen. It's two team turnovers to four. 
in favor of Olympiacos. As you see the replay of that last action there on the fast break. Shaquille McKissie getting fouled by Vasily Mitic, who was trying to set his feet outside the circle and take a charge, but he was still moving, so the referees called a foul. Yeah, great work by our production crew, George. As you can see, Mitic was just above the circle. And the contact. Just to the side of the chest as well. I thought, he was, get settled. I thought he was still moving. Yeah, exactly right. I think he didn't establish that position. Exactly right. What, what do you think about the stats? That only two turnovers for Olympiacos and four, four for Anadolu. I think it's a high. Yeah, it's, it's funny because I think we talked about this before. I mean, coaches don't like turnovers at all. But, yeah, you, but you need to have an acceptable number. So the coaches talk about maybe 12 turnovers throughout the course of a game. But this is such a high-pressure situation. I mean, this is one game scenario that you have to win. And you have to praise the players with the way they've been mentally that they are approaching the game. Tells you so much about the experience of these players and how well they've been prepared for this moment. Well, seven points for Olympiacos, the difference. That's the biggest of the game, if yeah, I'm not mistaken. Yeah, exactly right. The largest lead for Olympiacos tonight. Larkin guarded by Prindisic. You can see the help from Slukas on the side and McKissick. There was no way they were going to isolate Prindisic on his own. Well, did, you see, foul. Did, did you see the speed of the Shane Larkin just turned the corner? Look at that right here. I mean, he just goes right there. That's the first step, and he goes by immediately. By Georgios Printers. Hey, Georgios Printers, I mean, he's 37 years of age, but he still can move his feet. Yeah, no doubt about that call, the reaching foul. And because Larkin picked up the ball, George, I guess he's in the act of shooting. Is that usually how referees determine that? Well, I think so. I mean, he, he took the step towards the basket. I thought it was a good call by the referees, by Oleg Latyshev, one of the umpires, to give two free throws to Shane Larkin. We should commend our referees as well throughout the course of the season, and they've been chosen to come to the Final Four weekend. What an honor for the referees. Oh, absolutely, and for the young referees to come to the, to the Adidas Next Generation Tournament. They're learning their ropes and getting supervised by the referee department by Richard Stokes. So a platform to educate as well, Liam, for the referees. The Next Generation Tournament taking place here in Belgrade as well. Stars of the future getting a chance to taste the early basketball at an early point in their career. Here's Slukas. Around the screen of foul. The defense here from FS. Lucas with another three. That one's too strong. And Mormon comes out with a rebound. And it was the same spot that he hit the three-pointer in the first quarter. A tough one again contested. Finally, Lucas finds the bottom. I think a part of Pizic finds the bottom. And a look at some FS fans here lending their support. One out of four for Vasily Amici, so he finally hits one from distance. Down the gut to fall. You can see how Dunstan's walling up, trying to move him away from the lane. Good defense by Brian Dunstan. And a touch foul from James Anderson on Shaquille McKissick. That was a good take and drive to the baseline by Shaquille McKissick. As you said before, he just likes to put his head down, his shoulders down, and attack the basket in the open court. So not much of a break there for Shane Larkin. I mean, how, how much did he come out for? Like, yeah, less than out. a minute. A slight edge there on the rebounding. 16 to 12 for Anadolu FS. So perhaps it's 11 to 6 fouls. 11 for Anadolu and six for Olympiacos. Seven three-pointers scored for Anadolu, only three for Olympiacos. Well, McKissick in his third EuroLeague season. American converts both free throws. Larkin, that quick break on the bench, trying to break down Slukas. He'll give it to Dunstan. Dunstan rises <laughs> and he gets a little love from the rim that was amazing the ball i mean with the athletes that we have here in the game i would have suspected somebody was going to swat the ball from the rim but it just stayed there for a long long time and it finally fell in 
the team assists 13 and 10. These teams average 17 assists throughout the course of the year. Authoritative oh, rebound, rebound there from Mormon. Wow, he just snatched it down, Adrian Mormon. It's a tough foul now here on Slukas, George. You know, he's, he's guarding on the perimeter, just reaches. Look at this replay, the ball. It's on the way out, George. It looks like it's going to fall out. That is amazing. And Mustafa Fall was just in such a near vicinity, just could not gather up and go up to swat it away from the rim. That's a second foul here for Costas Lucas, so he's going to come out of the game and protective move for, by Coach Bartsokas. Yeah, he's a little agitated as well, but I don't think he's got any complaints on that foul. It's definitely a reaching foul. Larkin now trying to walk up, switches back on to him. Mietzic, a uh, nice up fake by Mietzic, and he steps into a three. That's a second three-pointer in a row for Vasily and Mietzic, and I'll tell you what, if you talk about a combo of Vasily and Mietzic and Shane Larkin is one of the best backcourts in Europe, if not the best in EuroLeague. They are heating up. Larkin, first team all EuroLeague this year, meets its second team all EuroLeague. So you are right, it is a dynamic duo. Here's Walker. Bajenkov, that's a 4 3 from Bajenkov. It's off the mark. And FS now with a good passage of play, look to extend their lead this trip down the floor. The momentum just goes back to FS. Olympiakos had it for a moment. Inside a minute to play here in your opening half. Larkin gets to the dots. His runner won't go. Olympiakos look to break. It's a five on three here for Olympiakos if they can exploit the numbers. And McKissick lays it up and in. Good transition basketball here from Olympiakos. That was an easy one for Shaquille McKissick after the collision. I thought that Brian Dunstan was really shaken up after the collision there. Dunstan just sets a pick for Mietzic now. Mietzic gets the mismatch with Fall. Finds Larkin in space. It won't go. And we'll get one more possession here as we wind down the first half in our first semifinal in the 22nd edition of the Turkish Airlines Early. Walk up between the circles. The Olympiakos fans rise to their feet here as we wind down this first half. Walk up runs into a sea of white. Finds McKissick who lets fly. And McKissick's shot is off the mark. That buzzer signals the shot clock and the end of the second quarter. So after 20 minutes of play here from the Stark Arena in Belgrade, this game is perfectly poised as both teams try to advance to the finals. Three-time champions, Olympiakos, the last team to win back-to-back -back titles in 2012 and 2013, facing the reigning champions, Anadolu FS, who seek to go back to back. Here's your score at the halftime intermission. Olympiakos 43, Anadolu FS 42 in tonight's first semifinal. Hey, saying uh, good half. It seems like you guys were affected offensively by a lot of deflections, a lot of bad, a lot of bad plays, but you kept the team in the game. Uh, yeah, uh, they're playing hard defensively, you know, using their hands a lot. Uh, we just got to turn, keep down the turnovers, pick up our defensive intensity, and we should be good. Good luck in the second half. Costas, I, I felt like you guys were the better team through most of that first half, but you can't get away from them. What do you have to do defensively? No, it's not enough. To play semi-final, you have to be more tougher and uh, you have to play smarter. They have talent and uh, they come back easy. We have to continue. Thank you. Good luck. Well, a look here at the performance of Costas Lucas and Shane Larkin. George, we identified these two players as a head-to-head -head to keep an eye on throughout the game. And right now, Larkin getting the better of Slukas 16 to 5. Shane Larkin had a phenomenal first half as far as scoring. I mean, he was one of the main reasons why Anadolu FS came into the, came back into the game. Turkish Airlines. Seven days. BKT. Adidas and Siesta.
official global sponsors in association with the Turkish Airlines Euro League. Well, first half highlights here in the first semi-final as three-time champions Olympiacos trying to get to the finals. Facing Anadolu FS, nice assist here from Bajenkov, who moves it on to Mustafa Fall. Fall was dominant in the opening minutes of play. And you can see what the Olympiacos team think about it. Shane Larkin found his touch from the perimeter. The American with 16 points, most of them from behind the arc. Larkin rising there over Thomas Walkup. Shane Larkin, a first team all EuroLeague selection this year. A bit of fortune here from Olympiacos and heady play by Walkup, who's going to move it on to Georgios Brindisis, who knows what to do with it when he gets it in the halo. Brindisis rises for the easy flush, and Olympiacos at this stage are flying, sending both teams in to the timeout. You can see what it means here to the Olympiacos fans who traveled in their numbers. George, a quick look at the numbers here from the first half of play. There you see Anadolu Efes getting the upper hand at the three-point shooting, 47 to 25. There, there's no question. Also 18 to 14 in favor of Anadolu Efes on the boards. Well, Shane Larkin garners best performance honors in that second quarter. 10 points, 10 of the 16 for the American, four assists as well. And you can see that after a slow start, really found his rhythm. That's a good thing for Anadolu Efes fans. Shay Larkin, four for eight from beyond the arc. It's uh, 50%. That's always good news there for Coach Ergen Ataman. Well, it's halftime here in the first semifinal in the Stark Arena. Hey! So Kasalikis catches, pump fakes, blocked by Dante Hall. Oh, what a follow-up from Jeremy Evans. And it's Panathinaik Kossa's turn to power the offensive glass. Pass intended for Papianis off the mark. It's a jailbreak here for Asval and the Thunderduck from ending the combo. Well, he is electric, and he's telling everybody all about it. Getting away from Thomas here goes Wilbekin, looks it off, and then does throw it over to Derek Williams, who throws it down one-handed. Lovely work. Tell to the hoop, deflected by Tarzuski. And now, uh, Vivi had a break, and Tarzuski one more time. Oh, he gets swat swatted from behind by Poirier. Tries to find a crease, draws a double team, which means Jalen Reynolds can fly through with the one-handed throwdown. And McCarvey are electrifying at the moment. No stopping them. It's big play after big play right now. Macon Jr. Traveling at pace. Jeremy Evans soaring through the skies. Getting some altitude in Athens. Giffey, Hazard, desperate to pick his pocket. Wrestled it off two of them. Hazard! Get some hang time! Special and spectacular through the Istanbul air. And again, it's Paris Lee, the game is over. How are BC end of quarter? Oh, what drama! Oh my goodness! An absolutely extraordinary conclusion! to a domestic duel played out on the EuroLeague stage. Absolutely incredible end. Defense. Dorsey skips to McKissick. Oh, nice ball fake by McKissick. And Carl Hines meets him at the rim. Oh, what a sound of McKissick. How do you do? Vasilya Mitsic working on Mustafa Fah once again. Takes it right to him. Goes glass. He's come up short. And Costas Lukas with an opportunity to win it. He kicks to the corner. Shaquille McKissick hesitates, gives it back to Lukas. Pump fake, beats the shot clock buzzer. And at the death in overtime, Costas Lukas connecting from downtown to give his team a famous victory here at the Peace and Friendship Stadium.
trying to break down Vizhenkov. Moves it on to Bacon, shot clock at five. Bacon inside the hall! And Dante Hall with the one-handed cram jam. Nice pass from Bacon, and Hall still got some work to do in traffic. Quickness from Shane Larkin on the baseline drop. Oh my goodness! Oh, ho, ho, ho. what a move from Shane Larkin! Breaking the ankles of Devin Hall, leaving him sprawled on the hardwood. Dorsey looking for foul. Spins away from Motte Yunas. Mustafa foul, taking no prisoners in the paint here in the Principality. McKissick in the corner. McKissick with a house goal! Shaquille McKissick! Shaq with a rag attack! Mitsic working the jab step against Ben Bentil. He attacks the lane, goes dot, swatted away by Kyle Hines. His second block in quick succession, patrolling the paint magnificently. The second leading shot blocker of all time, turning back the reigning MVP with a statement rejection. Nobody gets him the rock. He's still looking for it. Here it is. Kicks it out. Anga to the hoop. Adam Anga with the cut down the middle. Throwing it down. Adam Anga from the assist of Tavares. What a play. Getting active. Look at the speed from Dwayne Bacon. Slapped away against the backboard from Costas Papa Nicolau. And that brings the crowd to their feet here at the Peace and Friendship Stadium. Some pressure. Yeah, walk up with a chance to double team. Now we'll go to the rim. Thomas walk up with a steal and score. And it gets Papa Lucas off his feet. Well, Thomas walk up doubles down on the ball. He comes from behind and he goes right to the rack. You just check it in. Last time he checked in, he had three threes in a row. This time he's going to turn the ball over. He's going to be soaking all by himself. Oh! Sort again with the windmill dunk. Yamaselli coming from behind to try to block it. Sorkin. Smith's battling to get away from Hunter. It's for Exum on the perimeter. Oh my word. Oh my word. Dante Exum with the astonishing slam in the face of Othello Hunter. Turkish Airlines, Seven Days, BKT, Adidas, and Siesta, official global sponsors in association with the Turkish Airlines Euro League. Well, welcome back to the Stark Arena here in Belgrade. It's halftime in the first semi-final in the 22nd edition of the Turkish Airlines Euro League Final Four. Olympiakos Piraeus up a penny here over Anadolu FS as the players make their way out of the halftime changing rooms. We'll talk to the coaches first, Coach Ataman. Coach Ataman, uh, eight three-pointers have kept you in this game in the first half, but 11 for 15 under the paint for Olympiakos. You have to do something defensively to change that. We had a problem to defend it to big guys, the Mustafa Fall and Asan Martin, but the other problem we found the way they play aggressive. They play more aggressive, more aggressive than, than us. We shot only six free throws. They shot 15 free throws. Good luck, coach. Well, George, take a look here at the shot chart for Anadolu FS in that first half. 
Yeah, that was a good point. I mean, Anadolu has stayed in the game with the outside shooting. You see the successful three-pointers, eight out of 17, 47%, Liam, that's a very high number. Yeah. If they can keep it up, they got an excellent chance of winning this game. Yeah, you'd be pleased with anything above 40% as a team. But yeah. no fast break points. We'll talk now to Coach Botsokas. Coach, you're a man after my own heart. You started a game inside out, went right into Mustafa Fall. Was that part of the game plan all week to attack the paint and then go outside? It's our creators, they have to react to, to read the game. You know, whatever the defense is giving us, we need to take advantage of this. We had some uh, low post action, but we share the ball a little bit, you know, with patience. The thing is that we're to be more consistent on defense. Tight game, good luck in the second half. Inside out play, exactly right, George. Mustafa Fall got lots of touches inside. And look at Hassan Martin, he's the top scorer with nine points. So he got nine points from Martin and seven from Mustafa Fall. So that's 16 points that have been scored by the big fellas out of 43 for Olympiacos. There you see the stats, points of turnover seven there. Speaks the volume about the aggressiveness of Olympiacos and the steals they got in the open court and they finished with the layup. Yeah, George, you know, we talked about this uh, before the game tonight about rotations, right? So through the course of the season, coaches need rotations as we show you some of the images from this opening half. But when you get to the final four stage, you get to the playoffs, does the bench become a bit shorter? Does, does other limited minutes as we show you the perfect images here from this opening 20 minutes of play? And here you go, Martin only plays 14 minutes a game. He's come off the bench. And he's pitched in nine points. You know, I think in the second half, I, I will use the quote from Coach Barzokas in the, that he did in the pregame. As you see, the perfect images of the emotions that we've seen here in the first half. I would say that the, that the big players are going to step up. That is my expectation. By big players, you mean your stars. You're talking exactly. about. You're talking about Slukas. You're talking about who struggled in that first half. I call them the usual suspects, Liam. <laughs> it just so happens that uh, four of the all yearly players are on the floor tonight two from each team Slukas and Vizhenkov from Olympiakos and Larkin and Mitsic from FS the stars that you are talking about we'll see who the coaches send out here as their starting five well I see Mustafa fall there making a start in the second half as you would expect and it's going to be interesting if if, if another FS is going to make some adjustment there defensively there you see the top score in the game with 16 points Shane Larkin He's already above his season average of 14 and a half. And look at the assist. He's above the average with the scissors. Six. So he's providing for others and scoring good performance from the American. There's a lot in itself. 16 and six. That's not a bad line for the whole game. Yeah, you take that at the end of a game for sure. Well, if you were with us in the first half, welcome back. If you're just joining us from somewhere else, a very warm welcome to you. Dobro Doshli, as they say here, welcome in Serbian. We are in the capital of Serbia in Belgrade. Anadolu FS in the white, Olympiakos in the red. Just one point separates these two teams as they seek to advance to the finals of the final four in the Turkish Airlines early. Larkin scoop and score, rims out and fall with the defensive rebound. All right, Mustafa Fall had a good defensive position that bothered the shot by Larkin at, at least a little bit, making thought about a shot. Let's get the fives organized on the floor for Libyakos. It's walk up, Vizhenkov, Dorsey, Fall, and Papa Nikolaou, the same five who started the game. And inside, Mustafa Fall making his presence known. Absolutely, the presence is felt by Mustafa Fall. Tibor Plyce is at the bench. Coach Adaman made a decision to go with the more powerful bruiser with Brian Dunstan, who just committed the foul right here. Well, you can see how the white jerseys collapse along the basketball. FS start with Larkin, Singleton, Bryant, Meatsich, and Dunstan. Plyce, who started the game, starts on the bench in this second half. That was an offensive foul in the screen. Mustafa Fall moved that time. Got a piece of the pl another little player coming around him. So a turnover, a rare turnover, to say, for Olympiakos. Only a third one in the game, Liam. Yeah, impressive. Four turnovers for FS, three for Olympiakos. Both teams have been good with the basketball in their hands. Larkin to Dunstan. Good 
Quick ball movement to Bryant. Nice passing from FS. And he is playing without emotions, if you ask me. He's been stepping into the shots, driving, taking quick shots on the inside. Elijah Bryant enjoying a great semifinal so far. It's point number 10. He's in the double digits in scoring. The graphic across the bottom of your screen showing who's on the floor here right now. Dorsey. 16-footer rattles home. That was a nice individual action there for Tyler Dorsey. Just his first point of the night. We're knotted up at 45. Larkin's three off the mark. That was a ninth attempt there for Shane Larkin. Walk up, directing traffic. Here's Papa Nicolau, top of the key. He's got space to knock down a three. And he just, he got his wires crossed. He got his feet twisted and he turned it over. I thought there for a moment the players just clustered in a very small area. Yeah, spacing got, such a big part of basketball, absolutely. isn't it, George? Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, if players can shoot, this is exactly what you want to do. You want to stretch out the defense as much as you can. Four turnovers each. Meets its probes. Keeps his dribble alive. Gets to the halo. A little up fake for Mietzic. Creates the contact and earns a trip to the line. A hey, gutsy move right there by Vasily Mietzic to challenge Mustafa Fall, who stands at 2 meters 18 on the inside. You see right here, you think that Fall's got him covered, but a great bump fake there by Vasily Mietzic. That, that, that shows you the experience of last year's MVP and the top scorer of the competition this season. What a special Final Four it is for Vasily Mietzic to be played in his home city of Belgrade. That's where everything started for him with Megalex. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. And of course, Megalex playing at the Next Generation Tournament sure. as well. 28 years of age, Vasily Mitic at the free throw line. That was point number nine. This is the second one, so he does not get into double digits in scoring department, Vasily Mitic. Mitic, the Alfonso Ford winner this year, top scorer with 18.2 points per game. He joins the likes of Alexi Sved, Mike James, Keith Langford, Nando DiColo. We've all won this accolade in the past. Yeah, right down to God. And so Olympiacos start the second half, George, in a similar fashion to the way they started the game. Touches inside for Mustafa Fall. And, and you know, I like this sort of game, not because I'm a former big man, but I like to see the balance. I, you know, a lot of teams settle if things are not going well, it's a high pressure situation. They settle for the outside shot. This is the easy way out, but Olympiacos tries to establish balance. Right now, they're clearing out for Fall, leaving him alone. And Brian Dunstan with some. Good defense in the low post. Perhaps too much time to space out and put everybody in the right position. Larkin. Keeps his dribble alive. He's guarded by Papa Nicolau. It's an interesting assignment for Papa Nicolau trying to use his length to get to the shots from Larkin. Singleton, top of the key, knocks down a three. Timely three from Chris Singleton. That's another big man who can shoot a shot there. You see the defensive sequence. The ball just stuck for too long in Mustafa Falls' hands. And here's the three-pointer by Chris Singleton. He's known as a good shooter, Liam, over the years from the outside. Vizhenkov, his shot, strikes the front of the rim. And FS have got their tails up here as we start the second half. Mitzic, sideline break, skips a pass to Larkin. And Larkin just steps to the basket. Easy lay-in for Shane Larkin. He is so aggressive with the ball. You cannot rest a second there. He splits the defense. He goes between Vezinkov and walk up there for the easy deuce. Shane Larkin, the top score, the high score in the game. Well, that buzzer signals a timeout from Coach Botsokas. Olympiakos sluggish to start the second half. FS jump out in front. We've got our first timeout here as Olympiakos find themselves down six points here at the timeout. Well, a feature in this year's Final Four, Flight Time, brought to you by Turkish Airlines. From the second quarter, it's the oldest guy in the gym who rises the highest. Georgia's Princesses in the top five in scoring all time in Turkish Airlines Euro League history. Easy two for Princesses, and look what it means to him. Rolling back the years, showing the emotion. Off the assist from Thomas Walkup. He gives us hope, Liam. I tell you that. I mean, he doesn't move like a usual 37-year-old. I tell you that. 
Exactly right. Exactly you know, inter right. interesting stat about Chris Singleton. He started his early career with Coach Bartzokas at Lokomotiv Kuban Krasnodar. Yeah, that's the other team that uh, Coach Bartzokas brought to the Final Four, local Kuban. 2016 in exactly Berlin. Right. Right. What a Cinderella story there for the Russian side. Malcolm Delaney, I think, was part of that uh, local Kuban team. Of course, Delaney played with the Milan team. Milan had such a great season. They just had some key injuries going into their playoff series against Anadolu FS. And as the variable of sports, that's why it's yeah. so unpredictable. You can have your key players go down and everything changes in a heartbeat. Well, the measure of a good timeout is can you execute a good offense and get a good look? This is a crucial possession. Down six, Olympiakos needs to score. Papa Nicolau got it. He heard you, George. Perfect execution, good patience, good ball movement. Casas Papa Nicolau gets the open look at the basket, scores the three pointer. Larkin flashes back to the ball. He's got ball in his hands <laughs> awful lot of time. Dunstan to Bryant. Bryant, the perfect response for FS. The corner three-pointer from Elijah Bryant. The other corner, Elijah Bryant. What a game by him. 13 points for him. Two for two from two and three out of three from the outside, Liam. Perfect shooting game. A pass intended for fall. A little bit too close for him to catch. Another turnover for Olympiacos. And FS a chance to get their largest lead tonight this trip down the floor. Bryant kicks again. And another three from the corner. And Elijah Bryan finally showing some emotions there as he turns and faces the Olympiacos bench. He looked just, he waited for that. He did not jump on the jump shot. Just scored it so smoothly. Bryan Dunstan with the assist. Ball kicks to Vizhenkov. Extra pass. Papa Nicolau, his three is off the mark. And right now, Olympiacos don't know where their points are going to come from. The question for me, George, is when do they bring in Slukas with those two fouls? And surely they're going to have to. You see animated coach Bartzokas there on the sidelines. He's trying to motivate his troops. About good hustle play there by Mustafa Fall as he saved the possession for Olympiacos. This nine-point lead for FS, the largest that any team has enjoyed tonight. Baseline out of bounds for Olympiacos, desperate to try and get something on the board. Here's Dorsey. Closed out by Larkin. Fall again, another touch inside. The double team comes, and it's bad spacing here from Olympiacos. Vizhenkov forces the three as he and Walkup were both in the corner. That's, right now, Olympiacos out of sync. That's five, five on four. And Brian almost scored a three-pointer from the fast break. Larkin rises. Larkin shot is short. Elijah Bryant with an offensive rebound. Another possession here, but Walkup steals it. Now, can Walkup go the distance? That is amazing. They, you already have 24, uh, 24 attempts and 12 mates for Anadolu FS. 50% shooting from the three-point line. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you say that the guards decided today's game in basketball, it's certainly, if you're shooting well from the outside, you stand a great chance of winning a game. I know that hurts you to say that, George. Guards deciding basketball games. You Growing so much in your old age now, appreciating guard play. Vitsic, speaking of guard play, drops a dime inside, and Brian Dunstan with a flush, and right now, FS are rolling. It's been all FS. Brian Dunstan coming off the bench, filling in for Tibor Plies, having a great game with nine points. Here's Dorsey. Can he finally get something going? He counted a big, big three for Tyler Dorsey. Tyler Dorsey. Had a great season so far. It's only his fifth point. All points scored in the second half for Tyler Dorsey. There you see the team assist, 16 and 16. Very high number for the game. You can see Slukas getting ready to come in the game. Mitsic knocks down a three of his own. Vasilya Mitsic keeps that comfortable lead for Anadolu FS. And FS is shooting over 50% again from the distance. Here's Walkup, a little hesitation. Moves it on to Dorsey. And Dorsey fouled by Shane Larkin. Is he in the act of shooting or is it possession? That's on his second personal foul on Shane Larkin in this one on one matchup against Tyler Dorsey. Which meets it with the reach.
Is that good? George, that's the third foul. Oh, it's, the, it's on Meech. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, that's, that's a big moment. It, it is a big possibly moment. a big moment. Meech stays on the floor with the three fouls. We'll see if Olympiacos attack him on offense. Dorsey rises over Larkin. Tough, tough basket by Tyler Dorsey. And that's a gutsy play right there uh, for Coach Adamant to, to keep Vasily Amicic on the floor and see how long he stays with three fouls. Well, Amicic, his shot blocked by Papa Nikolaou. Great defense by Papa Nikolaou. Vizhenkov moves it on to Dorsey. Singleton with the foul to stop the transition play. That was a smart play. It's only fourth team foul there. You see the block by Papa Nicolau. Great defensive play. You speak so much about his reach and the way that he can recover against shooters. Stay in front of him. That terrific defense by Papa Nicolau. Just the first block tonight for Olympiacos. Coach Ataman just querying something on the sideline. So now Mitchell will come out, George, with those three fouls. And James Anderson comes in. How about Costas Papa Nicolau? He's been playing for so long that in season 2012 13, he was the rising star trophy winner. Yeah, that's right. Liam. Yeah. Well, that's 10 right. years ago. Dorsey, stop and pop. It won't fall. Fall with the offensive rebound to Vizhenkov. And Vizhenkov! String music from Sasha Vizhenkov. That was an important basket. Olympiakos has been lackadaisical there. They just could, could not have been able to find good shooting positions. Big three-pointer by Vizhenkov. It makes it a two-possession game. Larkin trying to extend the lead. The Olympiakos fans really making their presence known. Good defense by Vizhenkov. Shot clock running down. Larkin has to let it go. It won't fall, but an offensive rebound. Another one for FS. This one, James Anderson, who just stepped into the game. Dunstan scores off the window. Brian Dunstan, strong move inside. That is experience by Brian Dunstan. He just used his body to shield away from the defender. Beautiful move. It's eight offensive rebounds for FS. And those extra chances to score really add up at the end. And that's Costas Lucas aggressive there offensively. He found a seam there in defense, attacked it immediately, picked up the foul. And that's fifth team foul there for Anadol Efes. So you got two free throws for Costas Lucas. Brian Dunstan picks up his fourth personal. So a little bit of adversity now here for Efes as Dunstan has four and Mitzic has three personals. Brian Dunstan, that's correct. In 19 minutes and 22 seconds, he's already picked up his fourth foul. Look at his line. Three out of three for two, one out of one for three, and two free throws out of two for Brian Dunstan. So he played a great, great game up until now. George, just to pick you up on your comment about Papa Nicolau, he's in his 12th EuroLeague season. He's approaching 2,000 points coming into tonight's game. Either just 18 points to hit that marker. Some pressure up the floor here from Olympiacos. Of course, all of those seasons with Olympiacos, only one season in Barcelona. Yeah. We will see Barcelona later tonight as they will play against Madrid in tonight's second semifinal. Dorsey with a steal to Vizhenkov. Back to Dorsey. Dorsey spins in the lane. It won't go. What a beautiful athletic move there for Tyler Dorsey in the open court. The way that he spun and just got drew the contact on Chris Singleton. I'm not sure Chris Singleton was almost trying to get out of the way. That's the turnover right there by Elijah Bryan. The ball goes immediately to fast break. And that's pure athleticism. That is speed, Liam. Yeah, it's quickness, agility. Coordination. And, and the steal starts with Dorsey. One of these deflections. Picks up the loose ball. A good two-on-one between Dorsey and Vizhenkov. Just missed the free throw. You know, when you're chasing the game from behind and you get a chance to put points on the board with that clock stop, you really need to capitalize. That's a fourth mid free throw there for Olympiacos. 14 out of 18. Just Dorsey's first trip to the line, and he misses them both. That could hurt Olympiacos down the road because, as you said and pointed well, if, if you have two teams that are so close to each other in every statistical category, you need to 
Capitalized on every single situation. Just over a minute to play here in the third quarter. Singleton in the low post. Meets it. Meets it upstairs to Plyce, and Plyce lays it up and in, right in the death of the shot clock. I thought he was going to dunk it in, but he just decided to go with the backboard shot off the bank for Tibor Plyce. That's six points for Tibor. Bajenkov. His lay-in is up and good as the teams exchange baskets. Here's Anderson on the wing. Both teams have been nothing but man-to-man -man defense throughout this contest. Anderson to the short corner. Extra pass to Larkin. Shot clock running down. Larkin with the runner. It won't go. And Popovic Nikolaou with the rebound. Now Olympiacos with a chance to get the final score here of the third quarter. FSR in the penalty. Dorsey in a one-on-one -on -one here with Singleton. Dorsey. Step back three is on the way. Tyler Dorsey! Opa! Tyler Dorsey with a three at the end of the third quarter to draw Olympiacos ever closer to the reigning champions. And George, this game is really starting to bristle. They are heating up, and Tyler Dorsey came to play in the third quarter. There you see the score, Olympiacos Pira 63, and the FS Istanbul 66. You said it before, Tyler Dorsey had no points at halftime. So all the points that he scored are scored in the third quarter. It's third 10 quarter points to be here. precise. 10 points from Tyler Dorsey. Elijah Bryant also a big contributor in that third quarter. And you can see the emotions here, what it means to these two clubs. 10 minutes away from finding out who will go to the final. And if you speak about the contribution of Tyler Dorsey to the team, Liam, there are two key statistics. He's ranked in top 10 in EuroLeague category, number three in three-pointers made, and number five in three-pointers attempted. So you know very well that he's a capable scorer. And the way that he's come to play in the third quarter tells you that he plays with so much confidence. Well, FS won that quarter 24 to 20. And George taking a look at some of the stats here from that third quarter of play. I think Coach Adamant has to be very happy with the three-point percentage. Therefore, another FS at 48. That's an extremely high number. Same thing for the free throws, 88% from the free throw line. The numbers for the turnovers still staying low for the game. Well, Tyler Dorsey wins best performance honors at the end of that third quarter. Ten points for the Californian. And, uh, he made that last basket to send the teams to the benches at the end of the third. Well, there's some little stories developing here, George, so we know. Mitzic with three fouls. Brian Dunstan with four fouls. And Tyler Dorsey, his season high, 32 points in round five against Seska. Seven for 10 from three-point line. So Anadolu Efes better pay attention to Tyler Dorsey. He can heat up in a moment. 32 points at Seska. It was a remarkable shooting performance, as you said, seven out of ten three-pointers. Olympiacos start with the possession here. They'll come out in this fourth quarter with McKissick, Dorsey, Vizhenkov, Slukas, and Martin. So it's a smaller lineup from Olympiacos. Slukas around the corner of that high screen. Slukas stripped. Picks up the loose ball, shot clock running down. Dorsey in the lane, and his shot partially blocked by Tibor Plyce. So FS start with Mitzic and Larkin in the backcourt. Elijah Bryant, the three, and it's Tibor Plyce and Singleton. A bigger lineup for FS on the floor. And a great defense there in the first possession of the fourth quarter for Anadolu. You see your players on the floor in that bottom graphic. Good movement by Bryant as he creates a little angle for Larkin. And that Three is short. Here's Dorsey in the open floor. Is he going to go the distance? Well, great defense from Singleton as he strips it from behind and causes the turnover. The last touch was by the leg of, of a lot. Was it Tyler Dorsey? Yep. He's arguing with the referee. He's pleading his case, but uh, I don't think anything's going to change. Let's look at the slow mo replay. We might have a case. We have the advantage of the instant replay. 
Singleton certainly helping the referee make the call. That was a veteran's move right there by Chris Singleton. Can they turn it into points? How about Singleton? Singleton! Oh, oh, are you kidding me? Singleton goes to the rack with a left-handed jam. He surprised everybody, I think. Well, good passes to play on both ends of the floor from Chris Singleton. Vashenkov had a long time to think about that three, perhaps too long, and Pleiss with the rebound. I tell you what, the bigger lineup is playing off so far for Coach Adaman, defensively and offensively. Pleiss trying to establish position in the low post. McKissick pushing him around. Here's Larkin in the left hand. Shot no good. Another offensive rebound, Bryant to Mitzic. Who beats the shot clock now? Dorsey again. A three on two here. McKissick pulls it up. It's Lucas in space. Brian with a good block. But Slukas fortuitously lays it up and in. Slukas just stays with it. He doesn't get phased by the block on the three point shot and lays it in with the easy deuce. Larkin with the floater, up and good. Just curled around the pick. He is so active with or without a ball. You saw him making so much motion there on the court, getting the ball, not putting it on the floor, and immediately shooting. Larkin with 18, the leading scorer. Elijah Bryant with 16. That's exactly what you talked about, George. The stars have to shine here when the game is on the line. The big players come to play when the game gets tough. That's what they say. Let's see what Hassan Martin will do. He had a great first half with his physical quick play on the inside. He got great passes from the penetrations and immediately scored. Yeah, George, he had those nine points in the first half, but he didn't play in the third quarter. He went with Mustafa Fall, but I think that this has been the story for Hassan Martin the whole season. I think that the minutes are very well distributed among the all all players I would say that's what coach Barchokas likes to speak about as I said before he likes the team concept a lot more than the individual concept and statistics look at the slow-mo of that flush from Chris Singleton that is serious hang time and yeah, flight time tremendous. I what. of course he had that steal for the turnover on the other end McKissick gets a shoot his roll Shane Larkin already, already playing 29 and a half minutes, so he's barely gotten a breather there on the bench at the moment. Yeah, he's got more minutes than anyone else in the FS lineup. It's walk up with 25 minutes. His walk up there for Olympiakos. The free throw from McKissick makes it a one possession game. Meets it with those three fouls. Slices through the lane, blocked. Here's McKissick, and the foul by Singleton. Look at the diving effort from Singleton. You can see the fans from Olympiacos are appealing for an unsportsmanlike foul. George, how do you see this? That's an extremely tough call for the referees to make. I think they're going to go to the slow mo replay. They want to make sure because this could be a huge goal with a great impact on the development of the game with 6.57 to play in the fourth quarter. Well, Singleton makes contact with the basketball. But there was nobody between the basket and the player with the ball. I think this is this is the case where we need to review, and I'm all for it for the, for the referees to take their time. Bryant's on his way back, and then Singleton... Kind of trips. Yeah. For me, George, because he makes contact with the basketball, it's a back tip play. For me, this is a normal foul, but we'll see what but the referees, more importantly, the referees, what they decide. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm not saying that this, that's not the case, that he would not touch the ball, but I think what needs to be addressed is if he was, if there was, there was nobody between the basket and the player with the ball, You've and got that, Bryant that, coming here. Don't you see Bryant's coming? They are in the same line. That, that, that's something to consider for sure. But, you know, th there's a possibility for the unsportsmanlike foul. There's no yeah, question. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and the referees are doing the right thing. They're going to the monitor and taking a look at this. You know, you know, Liam, let's talk about a round 10 game. It's a normal foul. Yeah. So, good call. 
Well, goat analysis by you. One of the players that had a huge game in round 10 FS win 88 over 69 over Olympiacos was Rodrigue Barbao, who has now scored a point in the game. He has seven three pointers in that game, scored 28 points. So he was a huge part of the first win of FS over Olympiacos. And he's been battling some health issues so far. Played in that first half. You have to get on the floor here in the second. We just saw fleetingly. Trey Tompkins and Tomah Hertel from Real Madrid who are getting ready to come on. Nice crossover dribble from Shaquille McKissick and the left-handed lay-in from the American. And this is exactly what you expect from Shaquille McKissick, those very energetic plays that are attacking the basket. That's what his best game is. Just one point separate the two teams. Mitzic. A great pass by Mitzic from Place. Couldn't get ten fingers on it. The pass ahead. Just too strong for McKissick. What a beautiful pass by Vasily and Mitic to Tibor Plays. He just really did not expect that ball. Was, was passed pass maybe a little bit behind him, but still yeah. he should have caught the ball and just gathered up to go for the strong shot. We'll, we'll take a break in the action here in the Stark Arena. Anadolu FS up one in the first semifinal tonight. Interesting statement from Coach Barzokas before the final four. He said that this year's Olympiacos is the best group of guys that he ever had. And that's a very wow. strong statement if you consider the 2012 13 team yeah. that he won the championship with. Yeah, he did. That's exactly well, right. What do you think about that? Well, he's got he's got three. So we know he's got Papa Nicolau and he's got Slukas and he's got Prindices from that 2013 team. He's missing Spanula. No, but, but still, isn't it a very strong statement? It's a the very final strong, four. very, very strong statement. Um, but, but what a testament to the group he's got now. You Absolutely. Know, a lot of unselfish players. We know they average 17 assists. He's got Slukas with those. He's a three time champion. And Slukas, he brings all that experience back. And then he's got guys who are just embracing their roles, like Martin's embracing a role. Everybody's embracing role. Vizhenkov is having a career year, so there's got to be some validity to that statement, of course. And absolutely a huge imprint of his two and a half years' work ever since he's joined Olympiacos on his second stint. There's Mitic on the wing. Olympiacos stay with that small lineup. Larkin. Yeah, George, it's so frustrating, you know, for Vizhenkov because there's less than four seconds left on the shot clock, and that's when you really want to move your feet and avoid fouling. And they spend a lot of energy there on 20 seconds of playing very hard defense. They're all five players of Olympiacos, and that, oh, Shane Larkin just picks up a foul. Mitic weaving his pass. Well, it falls into the hands of... Brian Dunstan wasn't where it was intended to go, but Brian Dunstan in the right place at the right time, and he earns a trip to the line. And he is not rushing anything. He's just calmly collecting the pass. Look at that again on the slow motion. He just steps into the right spot there, gets a little bit of a lucky break after the deflection. But now it's it's all poise, experience. He gathers up, makes himself as big as possible around the basket, takes the contact, and goes to the free throw line. Yeah, Simple that, basketball, right? Yeah, exactly Simple right. basketball. He had that wide base and good composure. Brian Dunstan, ninth EuroLeague season, over 2,000 points in his career. In Queens, New York, originally. In 2017, he was an all EuroLeague second team selection with FS, two time EuroLeague best defender in 2014 2015. Kyle Hines won that award this year from Olympia Milano. We'll see Tavares later with Madrid, also a all EuroLeague best defender previously in his career. Stay with us, fans. Plenty of basketball action to come as we approach the midway mark in the fourth quarter of this first semifinal. Ruzhenkov fouled by 
Elijah Bryant. You know what? I was checking the stats there as uh, Brian Dunson scored his 12th point. He committed a foul that, on that possession, but his season high is 15, Liam, so he could easily surpass his season high. Sasha Vazenkov was fouled on the drive by it was Elijah Bryant. Exactly. Right, the foul. Yeah. But Brian Dunstan could surpass his, his, his season high here today in the first semifinal of the EuroLeague Championship. It's Lucas. His pass intended for Martin broken up. The defense from FS. That was a costly mistake right there. Vizhenkov steps to guard Larkin. He really bends those knees to try and stay close with the Mercurial Larkin. And then again commits the foul. Isolation. If you have a mismatch, you don't need to run any place. And that's what FS is so good at. You see immediate, immediate recognition of the mismatch. Shane Larkin backs out Sasha Vazenkov and takes him one on one. And that's what the, the high screen and roll does for you, George. Am I right in saying it creates mismatches? You get bigs guarding littles. And yep. you can see right there Larkin trying to exploit that advantage. Now it's Martin who's going to step. Meets it, rises with a three. It's off the mark, and we've got an offensive foul here. And if it's on Brian Donston, George, it's his fifth personal foul. That's a big moment, the way that he's been playing so far. He's been absolutely crucial there for the lead of FS so far, but it's the fifth foul, so it's all down for Brian Dunstan. He finishes with 12 points and a performance index rating of 13. We'll see who... Adrian Mormon has become the forgotten man. Mormon yet to score tonight, but he played 15 minutes in the first half. We'll see if he comes back on the floor. James Anderson also an option. So they go with Thibaut Plyce. He checks back into the lineup. Six points so far in 14 minutes for Thibaut Plyce. And another missed free throw. Do you believe that? For Tyler Dorsey. Yeah, Dorsey's an 80% free throw shooter through the course of the season, so it's uncharacteristic misses from him. He's one of four from the stripe. Let's let's look at the team stats from the free throw line. It's 17 of 23, so six misses there for Olympiacos so far in the game. Back to a one-point lead. As we're past the midway mark of the fourth quarter. Meets it. His pass deflected out of bounds. He was looking for contact and a foul to go to the free throw line, but good heads up play there by Hassan Martin as he went vertically up. That's yeah. what you have to do. You cannot bring the bring bring your arms down. That, that's when you give the referees a chance. Look at the slow motion right there from the other side. The shot clock under five. And McKissick nods the head as if to say, yep. I committed that foul trying to fight through the screen. But you have to love him. Shaquille McKissick just does not give up on any defensive play. That's only fourth team foul, so no bonus there for Anadolu Efes. Larkin. Shot is short. And Lucas manages to grab it. Now, Olivia goes with a chance to get back in front. And their faithful fans on their feet. They feel the need. Here's Vizhenkov. It's off the mark. I was surprised when that last possession by Anadolu that Shine Larkin didn't actually try to attack Vizhenkov as he picked up two fouls on the same ISO situations before. It's nail biting time as you saw those fans. Here's Mitsu to the left hand. Again to Plyce. Plyce steps through. Foul here on Hassan Martin. That was a strong move to the basket by Tibor Plyce as he used his height advantage. The tallest man on the floor, 2 meters 21. Yeah, he steps through, George, does he too? He steps with that right foot to go across the defender and rises. You have to challenge the, challenge the shot blocker, right, Liam? That's, that's what Absolutely. they always say. Absolutely. So Plyce to the strike. Place is really shown in the absence of Sinatich Sandler. Remember Sandler had that great Final Four last year for FS when yep. they won the crown. And he went to Barcelona in the offseason, and it really gave Tibor Place a chance to shine yeah, this how about, season. But how about Tibor Place in the playoffs? Game four against Milan, 25 points and yeah. six rebounds. I mean, he went gangbusters in yeah, that game. Absolutely. Lucas. 
gets it back from Vizhenkov. Shot clock under 10. Lucas just keeps moving. The shot won't go. Mitsic with the rebound. A chance to make it a two possession game here. This trip down the floor. Larkin. Oh, what great defense of Hassan Martin. Active hands saved the day for there, there for Olympiacos. That was a quick pass, too. It I mean, was. What yeah. a deflection. Lucas from the elbow. It's just short. Hassan Martin with the offensive rebound. He gives it to Dorsey quickly. Here's Vizhenkov from the corner. Just won't go. And hands on heads for the Olympiacos fans. Vizhenkov really struggling from the floor. One of five from behind the arc. But it seems like the players of Olympiacos have used a lot of the energy and don't have the legs anymore. It's the, everything is being missed, missed short. Usually a sign when the legs are starting to fatigue. Kisic with a foul here, which will send Vasamitsic to the free throw line. But Sokis signals timeout, maybe to get a rest to those tired legs. And here's your score at the timeout. Olympiakos Perea 70, Anadolu FS 73. And at the timeout, we get a chance to take a look at tonight's magic moment, the seven days of magic moment of action earlier tonight. It is none other than the one-handed slam by Chris Singleton. George drives to the basket with authority. I would say it was a monster jam, Liam. Look at the hang time. Look at the flying time. He just comes down with his weak hand, the left hand, but just goes over Hassan Martin, who is a tough, tough defender himself. Martin is a tough hombre. And Singleton challenges him. That comes on the back of a great defensive play. I think Singleton might be having a little word here with Hassan Martin as he puts him on the poster. But you know that Hassan Martin knew that the way that he stepped in there, he knew he was beaten. He was well half a step too late there in that defensive possession. Here's the line on Singleton tonight, those five points. He's knocked down a three. Good bit of defense as well, which doesn't show up in the stat chart. And there you go, George. There's those tired legs that you were talking about. Yeah, I was talking about the minutes that Shane Larkin's been playing 35 and a half minutes. He's been on the floor almost all the time. Hey, but how about the production from the big guys, from the big guys from the bench there for another little FS, 12 points for Brian Dunstan. And as you said, right now, it's five points for Chris Singleton. 17 points still there from the big guys from the bench. Uh, you know what, George? I love that observation, but all those points from those big guys don't add up to the 18 that Shane Larkin has. Vizhenkov struggling tonight. Two from 10 from the floor, one of five from behind the arc. I think the stats was actually one out of eight, Lynn. Wow. Yep. Including those last, those two, two last three pointers that he took just moments ago. So really a tough game there from the outside. Tough shooting night there for Sasha Vezenkov, who, who absolutely has had a, a breakthrough yeah. season. No question about that. His fifth season with Olympiacos, right? He is their leading scorer, 13.7 points per game. And how often do you see Vasily Mitic? Miss both free throws, so still a one possession game here. Olympiacos with a chance to tie this trip down the floor. Dorsey, this will level it if it goes, it's just off the mark. And you have to give credit to, to Anadolu defense. Anadolu defense was actually the story of the playoffs. They held Milan in Milan to only 48 points. They've been playing very good defense lately. Let's say that, Lynn. Yeah, absolutely. Defense wins championships. Now, Mitic's going to keep the ball in his hands. Eyeball to eyeball with Slukas, a step back three for Mitic is off the mark and could block out by Hassan Martin. It's a defensive struggle on both sides. I think that the players have really exerted so much energy that there's not much left in the tank. We are in crunch time, less than two minutes to play. Three points separate the two teams. McKissick, can you provide some energy? McKissick on the bounce, rises, the right-handed runner is no good. The ball's in the air. And Tibor Place comes up with a big loose ball possession for FS. And a good defense by Chris Singleton. He was at the right spot at the right moment, I would say. Well, Larkin wants to clear out. Larkin going to keep the ball in his hands. Wants to try and break down Slukas. Slukas standing tall defensively. And the foul, George, is just 1.1 seconds left on the shot clock. Maybe. Costa Lucas who just let the play go. I mean, if he was aware of the shot clock with 1.1 second, 1 .1 second to go. 
That's a tough one to reach from the back. Yeah. As I said before, with the big guys, you give the referees a chance when you bring your arms down, this is, and you give a chance if you slap from behind as a guard, you know, you give the referees a chance. I love this referee and George, you know, it's a referee giving Slukas a chance to regain his composure. He talks to him, calms him down, because Slukas, of course, the star of the game. Now, Larkin, with that free throw, it's now a two-possession game, trying to extend the lead. Just over a minute to play. Four points in it. Dorsey. They don't have to rush anything yet. Plenty of time. Dorsey keeps his dribble alive. Finds Vizhenkov. Slukas. He's so smart, Slukas, as he draws the foul on Singleton. He wants to get the same thing that was called on the other side. We saw Kruno Simon, who's injured, unfortunately not able to play in this Final Four, was an integral part of FS's success this season. That's a big absence, and I mean, it is really interesting to see that because you got Rodrigue Balboa out of the lineup as well. He's been a non-factor with his back injury, so he had to replace basically two key players. Well, Singleton now picks up his fifth foul, George, so it's both Bryant Dunstan and Singleton out of the game for FS. Adrian Mormon steps back in. I mean, with the way that they played aggressively on defense, I think they provided a huge spark there for Anadolu FS. Both of those guys, Chris Singleton and Brian Dunstan, I'm not even surprised that they both picked up five fouls. Very aggressive and physical game that we've seen so far. Well, Slukas steps to the line, an 84% free throw shooter throughout the season, makes the first. This one to make it a two point game. And with a minute left here, George, if you're FS, do you go for a two for one down the stretch with possessions, or do you, do you take time off the clock now and go deep in the shot clock? I will take the time off the clock, Liam. Well, we'll see what FS do. Meets it to no hurry as he goes across the midcourt stripe. Less than a minute to play in this semifinal, the 22nd edition of the Turkish Airlines Euroleague. It's going to be ISO. Mitzitz trying to break down Martin. Mitzitz in the left hand. Mitzitz kicks. Adrian Mormon just stepped into the ball game. Oh, brave three from Mormon. He misses it. That's a lot of confidence that Vasa Mitzitz put in, in Adrian Mormon after just stepping into the game. Olympiakos with a chance to draw a level or go ahead this trip down the floor. And Elijah Bryant just tips it out of bounds. I thought that Vasa Mitzitz had a great chance to shoot the ball yeah, on the inside. Was a, he was faked a, everybody out. It was a great up fake, and he had a little shot inside just above the halo, but so unselfish. And look at this defense again. Another deflection, George. Elijah Bryant tips it out of bounds. What a game for Elijah Bryant. He's got 16 points, six rebounds. But just a reminder, these two teams went to overtime the last time they played each other. Round 26 in Perez in February. Lucas with a three to win it. This game perfectly poised. Just two points separate the teams. Martin inside with a chance to draw a level. And it's not it up here at 74 each as Olympiacos level the score. And with 19 and a half seconds left, Coach Ataman with a timeout as FS with a chance to win it on the back of this lay-in from Hassan Martin. That's a six assist there for Costa Lucas. And a great use of the rim to protect the shot by Hassan Martin. Well, Martin with the lay-in off the left hand. And it's his first points of the second half. He had nine at halftime. He now has 11. Welcome to the ball game in the second half, Hassan Martin. One of the best. Two for the American. One of the best games for Hassan Martin in the season, if you ask me. Well, George, let's just talk about these 19 and a half seconds. So if you're Chris FS, the worst Last outcome for you is to go to overtime. Okay. You want to keep the ball Last in your seconds. hands. Long the shot seconds. clock. Okay, Last but you got two, two of the best Deep players up. to isolate and Stay to draw down. the foul. Do you agree? So to me, the game plan is simple. You isolate either for Larkin or for Vasa Micic, and you let them go one-on-one -on -one and hope to pick up a foul. What time do you start to attack the basket? Six seconds. Okay, gives you a chance to get a rebound, maybe. Yep. Yep. And, and gives very little opportunity for Olympiacos to come back the other way. Well, here's a look at how this game has progressed throughout the course of the game. Olympiacos led throughout most of the first half. It's been FS in the second half, and right now it is level at 74 each. Next question is, where do FS bring the ball in? 
They have the option to advance into their front court. They're going to take it out on the baseline, giving them more time, I suppose, to use the clock. Or, or I have another question. Do you foul if you're if you Well, there you go. It's a very good question. Do you foul, put someone on the line, and give yourself a chance to come back and win it? We'll see how it plays out. So the ball into the hands of Mitic. Thomas Walkup playing the defense. Walkup, who guarded Mike James in the playoff. Now eyeball to eyeball with Vasilya Mitic. Here we go. At less than six, Mitic keeps the ball in his hands. Clock is running out. Mitic rises. If it goes, it win it! Yeah. Vasilya Mitic with the Troika in Belgrade to win the semifinal here. What a dramatic finish in the Turkish Airline Jurling. Vasilya Mitic, who's the Alfonso Ford scoring leader at the end of the season with a three to win it. It's elation for FS and a wry smile from Coach Ataman. And it's disconsolation here for Olympiakos, who come up on the short end of an epic finish in the Turkish Airlines Euro League. I love this game. What a finish, what a play by Vasa Mitic. That's what you expect your best scorer in the competition to step up, take charge, and take the decisive. Look at it one more time in the slow motion. He steps back over Sasha Vezenkov. Two players on the all Euroleague teams. But Vasily Mitic gets the best out of the duel. It is a sweet shot for Vasily Mitic and Anadolu Efes and the qualification to the championship game. Well, George, he is one of Serbia's favorite sons. The Serbian international, Vasilya Mitic, with a three to win it. Look at the reaction on the bench from Singleton and Dunstan, who could play no part because they had fouled out. And look at these dramatic scenes as Larkin is on the floor with his backcourt mate, Vasilya Mitic. Well, stay with us, fans, as we wrap this one up. But what an outstanding finish to a dramatic basketball game. It's tears of joy <laughs> from that fan from well, Anadolu Abbas. What a heartbreaker for the large contingent, contingent of Olympiakos fans. has been just absolutely silent here ever since the three-pointer by Mitic. What a semifinal for the history books. Let's see if they're going to discuss to put a few fractions of a second back on the shot clock. Not sure. Theoretically, how much that could be. We might have some time to play here. The referee's going to look at this. The score at the moment, 77 to 74. 0 0.2, so that can be only a tip in play. Alley you play. The player cannot come down with the ball, gather up to shoot. The minimum for that is 0 0.7 seconds. You are an encyclopedia of knowledge. Wow. You, no, you enrich me every breakfast, <laughs> lunch, and dinner, Liam. Well, I tell you what. So here's the story. Olympiacos are going to have to advance the ball into their front court. Yep. They're going to get a tip play. And for FS now, the challenge for FS, of course, is they have to defend without fouling. So Tibor plays understandably yeah, on but, the floor. He'll be the but, rim protector. But it's a three-point game, so they, they, they would have to make an alley-oop three-point play. Wow, Liam, I wow, think wow. You know, this is a Hail Mary. So you can see Ataman sending the signal in. Go around the arc and put your hands up. This is the amoeba defense. Spread out. Get your hands up. We'll see how Olympiacos with one last ditch effort to try and draw a level here. Walk up to bring it out. Prindices. It's off the mark. And this one is officially in the book. What a dramatic finish here in the Stark Arena in Belgrade. As that man there, Vasily Mitic, makes a three to win it. The two teams, George, it would be fair to say they labored in that fourth quarter. Tired legs from both sets of players, but Vasily Mitic, as you said earlier, the stars have got to shine when the lights are bright, and Mitic certainly did that. So this is exactly what we said during the game. Well, Mormon and Fall, the two Frenchmen embracing at midcourt. Of course, Beaubois, another French player on the FS team. And the players commend each other on a well-played game. You can see the FS fans in raptures of joy. We'll stay with us fans as we wrap this one up with some stats and some interviews. Of course, another game to come, El Clasico de Balancesto later on as Madrid will face Barcelona. And it'll be a good night for those FS fans.
And how about another little FS playing the championship game in 2019, the season canceled in 2020, winning last year and making the championship game again in yeah. 2022. That's a legacy that Coach Ergen Ataman is building there in Istanbul. Absolutely. He started in 2017 with the team. And so, as you quite rightly say, it'll be effectively their fourth, if you like, fourth trip to the finals because when the COVID season ended, they were number one in, in the league. By far. Yeah. So and, it, it's and, just a testament to how well they've been playing. And Liam, do you know where they fit, what place they finished in 2018? You're going to tell me now, aren't you? Last. Wow. What, what a Cinderella story, really. And commendations to Coach Ataman and his coaching staff. Look yeah. at that, man. Look what it means to the FS fans who made the journey from the European side of Istanbul. The core, the nucleus of Anadolu FS staying in tight. There you see the score. It's officially in the books. Anadolu FS 77 over Olympiakos Piero 74. It's Vasilya Mitzi, Shane Larkin, Brian Dunstan, Tibor Pleiss, Adrian Merman, Rodrigue Balboa, and Anderson. Just all those seven players staying together for ages. Well, we'll take a look now at tonight's Adidas player of the game. Plenty of choice in this one. Is it Vasily Mitic with the three to win it? It is not. It is Shane Larkin, the American, with 21 points and seven assists, close to a double-double. He was four of 12 from behind the arc, two of six from inside. And we've got the court side for his thoughts on tonight's win. My man, you know, you know my job is to have a question, right? But I don't have one. So I'm just going to let you take the mic. Yeah, I don't know what to say either, man. Uh... Tough game, unbelievable game, unbelievable atmosphere. Um, shout out to my guy over there, number 22, man. Big shot, hometown. Couldn't write a better script, man. So uh, happy to be back in the final. And um, got to stay focused, enjoy this one tonight. Uh, focus up tomorrow for whoever we play. And um, try to get another championship. You guys went from this dynamic duo last year to this trio now with, with Eliza, man. Yeah. Because he stepped up and had a huge game in his first Final Four. What's it like playing with the three? It's like a liberty to play the, between the three of y'all. Yeah, man. Um, Elijah stepped up amazing tonight. Um, and like I've always said for the last four years, we have a great great team. A lot of players that can step up at different times. And uh, tonight it was Elijah. He played amazing, played with confidence in his first Final Four. Uh, we needed that. We needed him a lot tonight. And, um, you know, it was amazing. So happy for him, and let's keep going. It was similar to last year's final. You kept the team in in the first half, and then they took over later on for you. Yeah. Um, man, you know, these games are just amazing games. They go up and uh, up and down, a uh, roller coaster ride, but you got to stay focused, stay together. And uh, we pulled it out again, and um, now we just got to focus on trying to, you know, pull it off and win another championship. Get some rest, man. I saw you, I saw you breathing heavy. <laughs> what the luck? The line here on Shane Larkin, tonight's Adidas player of the game, the 29-year-old with 21 points and seven assists. And George, you know, really unselfish of Larkin as he shed some light and some love on the play of Elijah Bryant with 16 points and Vasily Mitic with 15. We're gonna go back courtside. We're gonna talk to tonight's winning coach, Coach Ataman. Going offensively, but either today. So, what was the difference in the last three minutes of the game, other than you got guys like me, Sitch and Larkin on your team? First of all, I want to say congratulations to my good friend Barzokas. And it's not, it's very bad luck for them. Okay, this is Boozer shot. Every time it's better to stay on the winner side <laughs> on that shot. They made also great game. Uh, congratulations to Olympiakos club, Olympiakos fans. They made. Uh, Incredible atmosphere here, so more than maybe 15,000 people. So they are very strong club, good club. Congratulations for all of them. The game was amazing up and down. Uh, I think that we didn't start well the game, but in the second half we take the control. Also we lead the game by 10, by 11 points. But uh, we get tired, especially uh, Larkin get uh, some problem in his knee, he get tired, Michic get tired, we miss a lot of shots, a lot of penetration to close the game and Olympiacos come back to the game. Finally, okay, now it was a very difficult game, but one more to, to make back-to-back. -back. You're one away from back-to-back, -back, Coach. Good luck, man. Get some rest, will you? Well, Coach Ataman trying to win back-to-back -back titles. The last time it was done, it was done by Olympiacos in 2012 when they won in Istanbul and in 2013 when they won in London. George, a look here at the shot chart for Anadolu FS. 
I, I'm just still taken back by the finish there, Liam. I'm at loss of words, so it's really difficult. I, I think it's more important that we go to another player, Vasily Misic of Anadolu FS, and talk to him now. Hey, hey, man. I'm getting tired of this interview, but tell me about that last play. Tell me that it, it was set up for you, obviously, but I mean, what was going through your mind? You know, you didn't want to give any more time to the, to the other team to shoot. That was for sure. Uh, this, this situation uh, was very similar like uh, last game of regular season where I made mistake and I attacked too early. So I think I learned a little bit uh, from that situation. It was very important place before Stukas scored the clutch three. So today, uh, even I missed two free throws and previous shot of three points. You, 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 you didn't let me bring up the two missed free throws. I was going to do that in a minute. Ah, okay, sorry. Uh, but anyway, I just kept believing that uh, maybe this shot at the end will go in. Uh, still, I always, I mean, I always mentioned that at the end, uh, me and Shay, we never uh, feel like uh, jealous to each other who will take the last shot. I'm very happy when he makes. Today it was in my hands, and I'm very happy that I made it. You are right physically? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? I don't know, honestly. <laughs> You'll tell me on Saturday, right? I'll, I'll tell you. Saturday. Hey, man, that shot was sweet. Didn't touch nothing but nets. Go get some rest, my man. Thank you, my man. Good job. Well, the winning shot from Vasily Micic and uh, George Heat too, almost a double-double. Micic with 15 points and nine assists. Talk about the contribution he made tonight. That's a one-two combo we said before. Perhaps the best backcourt in Euroleague in Europe, and it paid off today. Well, George, we're going to talk now to tonight's losing coach, Coach Batsokis. Coach Ataman already paid his respects, and here he is now, Coach Batsokis. Coach, this is always the most difficult interview for me to do. Uh, fourth quarter, just couldn't get anything going offensively, either team, and they took advantage at the end. Both teams, they had pressure, you know, it was a tight game, as we expected to be. One, two decisions, one, two crucial shots, and of course the last one, which was really tough for us. Congratulations to FS, you know, I cannot complain to anything about our players. We gave everything, okay, we had a little bit more pressure than we should. But okay, this is basketball. The fans are still amazing, though, aren't they? Yes, always like this. <laughs> I'm sure we'll see them on Saturday. Good luck, Coach. Thank you, thank okay. You. Yeah, class there from Coach Motsokas. It's got to be hard to talk after a heartbreaking loss. Both Just coaches, like that. I, I really like the way that Coach Adaman started his interview thanking the other side and Coach Motsokas. A lot of respect between the coaches, players on all sides. Yeah, these two teams split during the season, we know. The last time they played it went to overtime, and this game was a very, very similar finish. We're going to take a look at some highlights to wrap this one up. What a epic game in the Turkish Airlines early. FS end up on top on a three from Vasilya Micic. It started off with touches inside to Mustafa Fault. You know, I want to give one more thought as we look at the highlights of, of the game. Beautiful game that was, an incredible semifinal. I want to say, Liam, it was a it was an overtime victory and a tight tight game in at, in in Piraeus in round 27. It was a tight game to the last possession here, so that's, that's eight tight quarters and an overtime. And you mentioned that there was a decisive victory by Anadolu FS in Istanbul before, but I disagree with that because it was tied after three quarters and a complete collapse in quarter number four by Olympiakos, 22-3, they got outscored. So these two teams are absolutely even matched. You, you mentioned it with the stats. We could not pick a difference in the stats. So today, you had two teams meeting that have had great season and were almost identical across the board in all stats. Well, they each had 17 assists throughout the season. Tonight, it was 20 assists for FS and 18 for Olympiakos. George, just a quick look at the numbers as we wrap it up. What jumps out at you? Very low number of turnovers, eight and nine under 10. If you keep that, it's a very focused game and an edge for three-point shooting there for Anadolu FS. I think that decided the game. 41% for Anadolu, 28 for Olympiakos, the outside shooting. Sasha Vazenko, for example, struggling mightily there from distance. Well, as we wrap this one up, Anadolu FS will advance to the finals and Olympiakos brought their season to a close. FS will get a chance to defend the title they won in Cologne in 2021 when they beat Barcelona. FS advanced to the final. For me, Liam Canny, it is good night from Belgrade. The second semifinal still to come.
Turkish Airlines Euroleague in association with...